Okay, so today we are heading for a removal of an uh, oil tank in the ground. Uh, here in Norway, the government have decided that it's not longer allowed to use uh, oil for heating up your building. And a lot of houses up here in uh, northern Norway had oil tanks and uh, oil burners in their house for heating up. So, no, it's not allowed anymore. You can use them for bio oil, but no one does that because it costs a lot more. And uh, most of the people have removed their oil heating and something in the house oven uh, because oil is expensive and it's more and more efficient to heat up your building with um, electricity. So now everyone need to remove their oil tanks. They have uh, dug down in their guard and uh, under their road and under their extension of their building because they didn't think about that when I did it. So uh, this year I uh, are removing a lot of oil tanks. So today I will take you with me on the removal of one. And we are also doing some uh, excavation for a new retaining wall at the same building. So, actually, here we can see one oil tank that someone have removed from their building. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the excavation companies are uh, removing a lot of oil tanks uh, this year. So, but okay, we will uh, go down and uh, remove one. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so then we are started to remove the tank and Carl is now cutting the pipes off. This is the supply line into the building right here and this is for air to the tank and this is for filling the tank. We are just cutting them away so it's easier to get access with the actuator.
Jag är spänd när du kommer att dreja. Okay, so now we are excavating for a new retaining wall that the customer here is building and we will take the excess dirt that we get and put it in the hole where we picked the tank up and the rest we have to drive away with the truck and right here is the cable for the electricity is coming in. so Carl is hand excavating it Okay, now we have the laser and now we can set the height that we need to make for the retaining wall that he is building. So, if you see here, this is the level where it was before they started working in the street. And we need to be a little bit below this. So I think we will put the height at something like this. Okay, so you use that for that.
Okay, so we are doing a little bit cautious excavation here because of the power cable and the orange one is for fiber, so... But this is the level the customer needs for start building his retaining wall. And now we can use the excavator for the rest. The only thing we have is the water line over there. But... So then we have excavated for his new retaining wall along the side here and now we will take the excess dirt and uh, fill it back into the where we picked the tank up from and Carl is going to pick up the truck and then we can load the rest in the truck. So this is the hole of the tank so it's not that big and we also have this from that was over the tank, so...
So then we are finished. Excavated for the retaining wall along the road here. Filled the rest of the dirt in the truck. And this the customer himself wanted to make the lawn again. So he just backfilled it and stamped it with the excavator. So then we are ready for the next job.